Hey YouTube followers, welcome to my third installment of things you can do while you're out on a date. In this video I made a paper napkin rose. I'm going to show you how to make this. It's a great way to show off to your girlfriend or boyfriend when you're out someday. This is going along with my other two videos. My first video was the straw paper rose. You can see it's just made out of the straw wrapper you get with a straw. I'm going to put a hyperlink to this video in your upper right corner of your screen. Uh, I also made a straw heart. This was my second video that I made. This is made out of two straws. They're just placed together. It's another great thing you can give somebody or just to show off to somebody. I'm going to put a link to that video in the upper left corner of your screen. So let's get this started so you can start making the paper napkin rose. Okay, so the first step is going to be opening the napkin all the way. Pretty much just unravel it. I usually lay it down with the long ways uh, facing this way horizontally. I'd like it to be longer horizontal than it is vertically. This top portion here is going to be the top portion of the flower itself. So what I like to do is I usually like to fold this down to form uh, this beginning to make this a little bit more solid. So I usually bend it or fold it down around two inches and then I make a crease. And then the next step is going to be actually forming the flower. So what I usually do is I put my finger in and then I twist the stem down. So I'll take both my two fingers here, my middle finger and my index finger and my thumb, and I'm just going to wrap the paper around it. And as I'm wrapping around, I'm going to make sure that I make everything nice and neat. And I'm also going to give it almost like a tiered shape. This way it looks more like a rose as I wrap it around. And again, you're going to be pulling it down, making sure everything is like relatively even. I mean, it is a napkin, so it isn't going to be perfect, but um, try the best you can. And while we still have our fingers in the flower, we're going to be twisting the bottom. This is starting the stem. Just twist at the bottom of the, of the petals. Next, we're going to be making the actual petals of the, or the leaves of the leaf of the flower. And how I do that, I usually take a little corner from the bottom here and I bring it up towards the petals of the, of the flower. And then what I do is I usually keep this off to the side and hold on to it with my fingers in my left hand and then I twist the bottom to form the stem. You can actually lick your fingers too if you wanted to. To finish it off, usually a little bit of moisture will help to uh, make it a little bit more even. And then what I usually like to do for the leaf, I'll twist it a little bit on the side, have it coming out to form a nice leaf. Try to fix up the flower itself before you give it to the lovely lady. And there you go. It's simple as that. That is your a napkin flower, or you can call it a napkin rose. Um, and here's one I made from before. I think that turned out really well. And they actually, they actually complement each other really nicely. I think it's a nice gift you could give somebody while you're out someday. All right, well, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, this is Rich's Methods. I will see you on YouTube. Good luck. A portion is going to be where the petals of the flower are going to be.